you know, since my all my work is based around technology um, in various ways, it's obviously something I think about. So I think the important question about technology is the speed with which technologies are introduced. Um, what has happened in the last 20 years or so in what, what should we say the digital era is that technologies since then they're now freed from hardware in a certain sense they, they rely on information and information can be sent and moved instantaneously that means that technologies can spread very very fast and very far very quickly um, that I think is a problem because it's not that there's anything intrinsically wrong with them, but we don't have time to adjust to them. Um, to, I mean, Facebook is a very obvious example. I'm, I'm happy to say, and I am proud to say now that I've never had any social media accounts at all. And I more and more think that was a very good decision. It, it was a decision I made um, because I just didn't want to waste my time <laughs> gathering new friends who I didn't really want. Um, but, but actually, I think it turns out to have been quite a good decision. I don't want to be in that world. I'm not ready for it. Um, I think we haven't been able to become ready for these things. Um, speed is very important. You know, in evolution, there's a whole school of thought of people who say, oh, climate change doesn't really matter because everything will evolve. Things will evolve and there'll be, you know, there will be new species and maybe we'll lose a few, but there'll be new ones. But in fact, evolution behaves very differently at high speed than at slow speed. Um, if something appears that is devastating, covers a huge area and happens very quickly, evolution doesn't have a response to that. You just destroy most of the possibilities. Evolution happens when something happens relatively gradually and creatures gradually readjust towards it by, a, you know, by genetic processes over a series of generations. Um, you know, we didn't, dinosaurs didn't adapt to meteorites. They destroyed the dinosaurs. Um, they might have adapted to a series of asteroid showers over hundreds and thousands of years, but the big meteorite that struck in Mexico or wherever it hit essentially destroyed dinosaur life on Earth. Well, I think you have to think of Facebook as a kind of big meteorite. It's not intrinsic to the technology that it has had this devastating effect on society and politics. What the reason that it's devastating was because it happened so quickly and because a few quite smart people were able to turn it into a money-making device. And so it had every bad effect that you can imagine. It vastly increased the gap between the rich and the poor because the rich pulled the strings and set the rules for how it worked. Um, and I think it vastly impoverished the quality of conversation between people um, just by the way the algorithms were designed. You know, the algorithm, algorithms are designed to reward anger, essentially. Um, I won't go into that. Enough people have written about it, but I think that's, that's the way I'd summarize it. So I think the problem is nearly always not the technology, but who gets hold of it, who controls it, and what they control it for, what they want to do with it. I hope that answers your question to some extent. It's such a big question. Actually, every question I've been asked 
could could be worth a two-hour answer. So <laughs> that's as far as I can go really on that one. 